Hi, I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at FL Studio's mixer. I've got a new sound uh, that I've just created in my pattern window. Uh, how do I get this into my track? How do I start adjusting the levels and making sure that it fits in with the track? So this is the sound that I've got. So it's like a phasey, phasey lead thing. There's quite a lot of detail going on. Uh, but at the moment, it's just sitting in my channel rack and I need to get it in my arrangement. So to do that, uh, I'm coming over to the left-hand side. I'm making sure that it, the new pattern I've got, it's called Pattern 7, uh, is selected and I can just click it into the playlist here. But still, that isn't in uh, my mixer. It's not rooted to the mixer. So you can see that it's not registering anywhere on my mixer. And to register it on the mixer, you can either hold this button here and scroll it in. Uh, but what I like to do is open up the channel itself and click on a track here, which will route it to the next um, free mixer track, basically. And it will also give it the right name and the color. So if I just hit on that, you can see now that it's opened up the mixer and uh, it's been added in here. And we've got Seventh Soul, it's called. So you can see the data's coming through now and I can, uh, I can rename the mixer track if I like to by just right clicking on it here. You can add icons and change the color and all kinds of stuff. Um, but working our way down, there's the uh, option to solo it. So if you right click on this little uh, green button here, it basically mutes everything else and just solos out, out that original sound. Um, so solo, soloing uh, is there and you can obviously turn other tracks on just by clicking on the lights there. So quite easy function. Going down, uh, you've got the panning. So you can pan it. Uh, volume slider, obviously, to adjust the level. Uh, this is, reverses the polarity if you've got any issues there. Uh, you can swap the left and right channels with this option here. Uh, this is the stereo separation, which is quite useful if you wanted to simply just mono something quite quickly. You can just mono it by pushing that all the way to the right, or going like more of a full stereo sound to the left. So good for creating more stereo separation in your mix. Uh, you can just right click anything to reset it as well by selecting reset. Uh, this arms the track, the mixer track, if you're recording directly into your mixer, you select that here and that would record directly into an Edison instance in the mixer. And then at the bottom here, you can see uh, a little arrow with some cables going off. And uh, as you can see, the most highlighted one of these cables is the, uh, the master track, which is where I'm actually sending this at the moment. So if I wanted to just quickly send this into any of my other sends that I've got set up over here, I can just click, make sure the track is clicked, uh, is highlighted and just send it using uh, this here. So I can just write, I can just make sure it's clicked there and then push the volume up. And now we can see that it's coming through as a send on this next mixer, mixer channel and we can add effects and adjust that there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take it off send for now because I'm not gonna use it in that instance. But say we wanted to add some uh, add some effects to this mixer track. We've got our new sound in here. How do we start adding some effects? So on the left hand side, you've got um, where you find the insert slots. This is where, how you can add effects to your sounds. So just quickly, I'm just going to chuck a reverb on for for demo. Um, and you can so I've brought in now on my mixer track. If I select a different mixer track, that reverb disappears. So you can see that now that this reverb only applies to this track. You can just click it, and it opens up the window. And you can obviously adjust the settings of the... So pretty straightforward, adding effects, and you can obviously experiment, add different effects, and start combining and creating some real interesting sounds that way. Uh, so there's some, a few different options to how you view the mixer in FL. Uh, this is the most compact version. Uh, as you can see at the top right hand side here, you've got uh, a few different options of how you want to, the mix to be presented to you. So you can just have a flick through those and see what works for you. Um, there's some the wider options, which obviously creates a much bigger mixer on the screen. If you've got a larger screen, these are great. Uh, they obviously provide a few more uh, high level details on the VU meters and stuff. And this extra large one also includes the uh, ability to see the, the plugins that you've got assigned. This switch here turns all the effects off. So if you quickly wanted to audition the dry and the, and the wet, you can just click this to turn all the effects on and off with a push of a button. 
There's also the option to view waveforms in the mixer instead of the VU meters. This is quite useful when you're working on beats, uh, combining different sounds, and you want to check the levels maybe in a different way to the original VU meters. So as you can see here, now I'm seeing the, the actual waveforms of each of these sounds. And you can quickly get an idea of how the track looks dynamically. Okay, so in this video, we've looked at the mixer in FL Studio. We've looked at routing new instruments into the mixer. Uh, we've looked at adding some effects. We've looked at all the different options you've got to change the volume, panning, uh, and some of the different view options in the mixer as well.